You're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Today is November 24, 2017. The greatest day of the year. Uh, I mean, probably in America. Black Friday. Is that accurate everywhere else? Is I don't it, know. Well, no, we're the only ones that have Thanksgiving. Wait, I mean, that doesn't mean necess- Black Friday doesn't necessarily have to be Thanksgiving. Well, I don't know. Well, Cyber Monday came because of Black Friday. Yeah. I'm Frank Berna. And I'm Jose Roldan. And you are now listening to the podcast where you can hear all your news, all the geek news. All week. Every week. Even though this was a slow week, but a great week. God damn, what's it a great week? God damn. For those of you who don't know, go on the uh, Evil Metal Gamers podcast. Hashtag tweet your haul. Um, you can see what I got. I spent less than 200 and less. I less I, I spent less than uh two hundred and eighty dollars. Are, are you kidding me? I got seven brand new games. I got a uh eight terabyte hard drive with two hundred and fifty gigs of cloud storage. It was a good good haul. You heard it guys. He bought something to put digital stuff inside. <laughs> you guys heard it. It's been recorded. It's he, awesome. <laughs> It is so awesome. Me, personally, I went nowhere for Black Friday. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to deal with the traffic. I ordered delivery. I didn't even want to go out there. It's a nightmare. According to Forbes, uh, Amazon's taking half of Black Friday um, as far as purchases go. Really? Yeah. And then uh, when I went online to see if I could get my external hard drive, I actually had to do it in person because online it was sold out. Well, I mean, I just going to these stores and fighting with people. It's just so fucking stupid. It's so caveman like when, you know, we could do a be a peaceful society and just go on Monday and just buy everything else. How's that new egg looking? Oh, my God. New egg. How much are you spending? I I mean, I, I started doing the Black Friday thing <laughs> in the beginning of the month. So I spent uh, about 500 bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know. I spend it, then I sell the parts. Yeah. And then get some back, like a fucking car, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's the way to do it. I haven't touched that fucking Super Nintendo. You haven't touched it? I haven't even touched it. The thing's awesome. It is awesome. And I'm not saying it's not great. It's just I, I feel bad that I, I haven't touched it. I would have touched the shit out of it if I would have got it. <laughs> um, They just didn't have any. And there are people who are online who are like, that's what I have six said. copies. I have six of the systems. I'm like, dude, you're a cocksucker. Really? Yeah. What a fucking asshole. Yeah. Then they're like trying to flip it. And it's like, dude, they're, they're going to have them back in stores. They already did. Didn't no. Adrian buy it? Yeah, Adrian got one. Today, right? Yeah. It I, was released on Black Friday. I just know I wanted it. I wanted it in between the time it came out to Black Friday. Because now, Jesus Christ. No, now it's impossible to fight. But I, I don't want it. I, I don't want it because I can. Oh, you got so many games. Bro. Yeah. I got Neo. I got Tekken. I got Injustice. I got Resident Evil 7. Uh, Jesus. Fuck. What else did I get? I got you, some other stuff. You got two copies of uh, of DC, uh, of Injustice. Injustice 2. What else? Two for me, one for me, one for him. You see, that's what friends do. They go out and buy the shit for you on Black Friday. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that for him, but. Actually, no. You know what? I was gonna. I, if I was allowed to buy two Super Nintendos, I would have bought you one. It's but, all good. You know, you know the hobo. No, I know. <laughs> he God. took my copy. <laughs> so great. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of DC, okay, yeah, let's start with that. That flaming pile of garbage. Oh my God! Ninety-six million domestically. Ninety-six million for a movie that. They pitched like it was supposed to be the second coming is ridiculous. Three hundred million. It three hundred million worldwide. Three hundred million. That's nothing. That's how much it's done to date. Three hundred million. Bro, that's it. I'm telling you. If it's three hundred million worldwide now, it ain't I give it five hundred million tops and then nobody's gonna see that shit. Nobody's gonna see it. And then you go 
and you have all these DC fanboys who are like, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I went to Rotten Tomatoes and I saw this. Oh, my God. I want to punch them in the face. Dylan. Well, <laughs> did Dylan say something? Dylan said it was good. Guys, go see it. It was good. Dylan, I want to punch you in the face. He I love you like a brother. He was telling people to go see it. He was telling us to go see it. You obviously don't pay attention in the group text. No, because I'm. first of all, I'm working when you guys are texting and it's the line of text. Then it's impossible to go back up to see what you guys said, especially when it's you and George arguing <laughs> about loot boxes. We'll get to that. <laughs> but no. it's kind of the same topic over and over and over <laughs> in a fucking constant loop like hell. So I. <laughs> When I glance it, I just go, uh, you know, I go whatever was last, you know. The, usually when I open my phone, the last text is like, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you're an asshole. I hate you. And then later on, it's like, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I love you guys. You guys are all my friends. That's, that's, that's true. That's how we do the text. This is an ongoing text that I haven't closed for the last four years, three years. Something like that. I mean... <laughs> I love these guys. So even you, George. <laughs> so uh, DC. Okay. And these these fans are ravenous for it. They they're saying and they're sitting there saying it's good. And this goes back to where I know in my heart of hearts, and so many people want to argue with me. You don't know until you see it. No, I do. What is that? Because there are people who sit there and they tell me that's like saying to your girlfriend, "You won't know if you like anal so unless you do it." <laughs> and you know, when you know she's not gonna like it, but that's what the DC people are doing. It's but it's bad, man. It, this is the thing. Um, I read this website that was like, you know, should you trust what the fans say? <laughs> and no. it, it was it was it was Metacritic. No. Was it Metacritic? Was it Metacritic? I, I think it was Metacritic because Metacritic bases everything off audience opinion, not off of critics' opinion. And, you know, we were talking just, what, 10 minutes ago about how I only play the masterpieces when it comes to games. So I, I don't go and try to dibble and dabble on everything. I try to play the utmost best games. Um, and then when I play them, I master them. Look at my trophy list. It's 40 yes. Platinums deep. Yes. Uh, but I love them. You know, games like The Last of Us, uh, the Uncharted series, God of War. Those are all Sony titles. Can, I'm trying can to Can you pick. say something else that's not Sony? <laughs> um, Titanfall. Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. Did you platinum that? No. I, Did you I, platinum Grand Theft Auto? No. God, no. No. There's, what? What, what there's a hundred little shards of the alien pieces that you have to find all throughout San Andreas. Do so you get a big pile of shit afterwards? No, you get a giant laser gun. You see, that's how it should be. It, it's not worth it to me, though. Um, so you'll never platinum that? No, I'll never platinum that. There are games I just know. I'll never platinum it. Red it, Dead Revolver was, I mean, Red Dead Redemption was. That was a hard one. Because of the online feature. Yeah. Online okay. trophies need not to exist. So you play masterpieces. I Listen, guys, I don't go and play shit either. I just, I'm more a little bit grounded. I look at, at the you know, I, I look through Steam reviews which i trust in reviews unless i see a big drop you know yeah if i see a big drop then i don't trust the reviews that's just them going on strike and shit but this metacritic okay they're they're sitting there and they're, they're online and they're like hey you know should you actually and i swear to god this was written by somebody who liked the <laughs> movie and they want more people to see it they, okay and they're like hey look what the metacritic says about dc movies critics versus thing and then it had uh, Batman vs. Superman had a 26% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it had a B rating as far as the audience goes, and that makes me want to punch him in the face. But then it gets better. Wait, <laughs> wait for it. It gets better. Suicide Squad had a lesser rating on Rotten Tomatoes, had a B plus on Metacritic on audience score. So that being said, I know that you DC fans have zero taste in film and I know not to trust you that I'm going to continue <laughs> to trust the critics because you guys have zero clue on what you're talking about. It's because, you know, they're fans. That's normal. It's totally normal. But I mean, listen, we're going to talk about Punisher today and I'm a huge Punisher fan. I mean, there's a, there's a, okay. there's a whole thing of it. I have my score, but I know my score is biased. So when I say what my score is, 
you need to dial it back at least a full point on a 10 scale. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of it. And I know that my fandom of it is going to escalate it higher than what it actually is for the average person going in. But my girlfriend, she loves it. She's been watching it. She has not watched Daredevil. She's not watched Jessica. What? She hasn't seen any of those. And I just put her on the Punisher and she loves it. You needed to start her off with Daredevil. No, it might just no. Daredevil season two, Punisher's introduced. Yeah, well, I introduced, I, I showed her episode three where it had the Punisher in it. When okay. he had him tied up to the chimney. Yeah. So she could see what the character was going to be like. So she does like it. Oh, she loves it. I haven't. I'm not Frank finished. Castle. I'm not finished with it. Um, we're on episode ten. So wow. we're there's ten episodes. There's thirteen. I'm at. Where the hell am I right now? I think episode five. Yeah, there's there's thirteen. It's great. I love it. I that fucking sledgehammer though. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so great. What is it? Leave. Let me live. Oh, I gotta find somewhere to put, put this. this. Yeah. Shoves it down his throat. That was so great. And I love, I mean, it, you know, I was a Marine. Frank Castle's a Marine. His name's Frank. My name's Frank. I mean, hell, even the character of uh, John, John Bernthal, I mean, he could be my cousin if you really look at him with the big nose and big ears and stuff like that. So th- there's there's a lot I like about the character in and of itself. <coughs> but he's Italian, right? I think he is. He's got to be Italian. Well, his his girlfriend, is, well, his wife was in the movie. He, no, but he he looks yeah. Italian. Yeah, so he's um, you're you're white, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it's it's uh, it was pretty good from everything about it about the character progression. Um, one of the things that really touched me, uh, being a veteran, there's a there's a sub story there with uh with veterans dealing with PTSD. You know, not knowing that they need help when they need help. Oh shit! When, they, when that guy wakes up and almost shoots his dad. Yeah, um, that's that stuff is it really touched me yeah. because I feel that I'm lucky. You know, I'm 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 a veteran, but I'm not. I, I didn't go overseas. I got into a really bad car accident, and um, I got out. But I have friends who suffer from PTSD, and you know, we talk, and they'll they'll sporadically hit me up at like three forty five in the morning, being like, "Hey, what's going on?" Like it's a normal day. Yes, they can't uh, but, sleep. It, well, it's, but they don't even they're not even coherent that That's it's crazy. it is. Um and I'm try and I try to be there for them as best as I can. Um but it's sporadic. You never know when it's going to happen and they're really touching it they're, they're really doing it well. And what it, it it got me like really choked up because it goes back to this thing where you know, we go we go overseas, we do all this stuff for political moves, but there's not a lot of good that comes out of it. And most of the time and, and saying that and saying that we're broken and we're messed up psychologically and there's not really a place to go. It, they, they really did a, a good job for it. So if you're, if you're watching it and trying to understand that it's, that's a lot of that is what it's like. And I mean, it was, um, I'm not even that old. I'm 34, but watching watching a lot of them, they have a lot of the veterans being just hurt and broken and walking with a limp and being really stiff. A lot of those little things, and my girlfriend noticed it too. She yeah, she, no. she picked it up on the fact, I'm like, you, you've seen that walk? And she goes, I see that walk every morning. I walk like I'm 106. But it, it's I mean, we put our bodies on the line for it, and they're doing a good job in that. And then Frank Castle's awesome. Yeah. Of course he's awesome. <laughs> but I mean, do you think he suffers from I mean, is his character not really broken because of PTSD, right? It's because of well, you know, they they, they show that scene where he snaps at his son. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the, kind of a But that's that's how it is, man. Yeah, man, he I, that freaked me out the way he talked to his kid. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like a regret that's constantly going in his head. But I mean, even still, like he's because when he snapped on his kid, that's something that I would do too. Yeah. Because it's like, he, because his his son used a racial slur to talk about the enemy, and it's like, you don't don't disres. I know it sounds crazy, but you don't disrespect the enemy to that degree. If that makes any sense, like some of them are just like us, you know. 
like they, they have, don't, they, nobody they, knows who's on the right. Right, you, everybody. They is have friends. The, they have family. They have kids. And I'm putting a bullet in this guy. So, you know, if no. if, if I don't come home, or if you know, if I don't come home, it's the same thing. Yeah. No, I, I understand what you're they saying. They did a really good job, and I. They did. They did. It's and, very well done. And not trying to be political, you know, whether it's right or wrong. I mean, that's war. I mean, it's it is what it is when it comes to war. But God, it was it's well done. I love Frank Castle. And apparently they've already gotten greenlit for season two or they're working on getting of course it's gonna get a season two. What what every single one of those Marvel shows is gonna get a season two. And you know what I like about it is that it revolves this is what they got right that DC doesn't get right. See, DC is torn in so many shows that they're not connected. It is a requirement from Disney that if you make a show based on the Marvel universe, it must revolve around the movies. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. Did you know that that uh Agents of Shield had to change their entire cast because of the ending of uh Winter Soldier? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. One of the main characters was a good guy and they had to change it to him to being Fighter Hydra. Yeah. This fucking great. And then of course they they, they got the 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 Netflix ones go around it too. Oh yeah, the the incident, the incident, whatever happened in New York. They mention it a lot, and I I think I'm hoping that those characters are shown, even if it's just one second in, in, in Infinity War. In Infinity Wars, yeah. even if it's just just a glimpse, that would be cool. You know, I know what I was. My favorite part, and you know, I haven't finished season one, but season one, the way it starts off with him going all over the country and, and stuff like that, just taking out people. Yeah, 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 yeah. What he's, yeah. Uh, uh, but I would love for season two to be like that. And for each title to be like him going where where, it, where it'd be, you know, but this was San for- Antonio, Texas, um, you know, just Little Rock, Arkansas, random places where does, he's going. Is go- that what Frank Castle does in the, in the, or does he stick to New York? I don't remember. I haven't read the comic books in a long time. He just goes after whoever. He is. Do you, do you remember reading the Civil War? Yeah. When Captain it, America kicked his ass? Well, yeah, because he's... Because, he killed the bad guy. Yeah. He beat the living shit out of him. <laughs> he shot him. Oh, no, no. He didn't yeah, shoot him. Yeah, he killed them because the bad no, guys... No, no. Captain America, he beat the shit out of Frank Castle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And because... he goes like, yeah, I used to look up to you when I was a kid. I was like, that's not what I'm about or whatever. He he left him in fucking, like, he beat the crap out of him. But then uh, Castle becomes Captain America. He does? Yeah. Got, when 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 Cap goes to jail, you don't remember he picks up the uniform? Are you serious? Yeah. You got that accurate? Yeah. I Google, thought it was. You can Google it. Cap, he becomes Captain America for a oh little bit. God, where did they do this? Then Dr. Octopus became, uh, Doc Ock became Spider-Man. Yeah. That actually was actually a really good storyline. Did you read that? No, but I know of it. He, he says Peter Parker dies. Yeah. And he, he takes over his body. And then he, I guess it's a thing of subconscious or something. He gains Peter's memories. So it changes Doc Ock. Not completely. He's still an asshole. Doc Ock is awesome. But he still... He's changing. He's trying to be the good guy because he has that consciousness of Peter still in him, which is cool. But but he fucking almost kills the, the vulture. Vulture. He he fucking beat him the crap, and then he realizes, oh shit, Spider Man has been pulling his his punches. All this. <laughs> yeah. He he punches him so hard that he stops to realize, holy shit, Peter Parker was he was holding back. <laughs> he could have killed me at any moment. Yeah. But Peter never, you know, Peter. Yeah. Oh God, I love Marvel so much better. Nah, DC's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What are the oh? Finish Stranger Things. Go ahead, sir. Stranger Things was actually very good. Me and Frank were talking about this. Um, Stranger Things too. It, it fucking phenomenal, F- phenomenal, phenomenal. And, uh, Sam, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I was gonna call him Sam. You believe that? Lord of the Rings, holy <laughs> shit! Oh, he was on. Uh, yeah, Bob, his name was Bob. Bob. Oh, come on, what's his name? Uh, Goonies, Austin, Sean Austin. Sean Austin was great. 
He was great in this, and and I he was such a goober in the beginning, God. and then towards once he became Bob the Brain and started figuring everything out, I loved him. He Bob was, was awesome. He was so great. Well, of course, it's a portrayal of him from Goonies, who knew how to figure out the the, the, the map, yeah. and shit. I mean, everything in this movie has some part or connection to a movie from the eighties, whether. I mean, I, I saw the scene. There's a scene where I'm not going to give you a spoiler, but there's a couple and they're fighting to themselves in two different rooms and they're arguing and the scene keeps showing each one back and forth, barking forth, arguing, saying a sentence and then the other one's finishing the sentence. That's from Temple of Doom. So the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom, just in case for you kiddies who are too young. It's just like, it is so well done. The it, tunnels are the tunnels are like from aliens and and just every if you really look if you really look they took a little bit of everything from 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 different um uh oh my god from different eighties movies and the, hence it goes to the ending of the show where I keep telling Frank he's like he told me there's six seasons that have already been made or whatever but how. Where do you go from there? For anybody who finishes the show, this is, uh, I don't know if you're thinking the same way of me, but it ends there. And then is how, how much can you possibly add to this before it gets stale? Which that's what I am concerned about because sometimes it's better to stop where you're on the top or risk it and then destroy it. But I, I mean, that's writing, my opinion. What happened with Walking Dead? The writing is so well done. And in the writing being so well done, and you you actually care about the characters. Yes. The Walking Dead just sucked. I mean, it really I did. Mean, it, it started re- off with a great start, and then <laughs> but, but I, I don't know what happened. You had Rick, who sucked. And for, Rick is not like that in the in the in the comics. No, but I mean, that's you know, that, that's why it's not good though. That that's why it wasn't good. Because they didn't stick to the comics. Because they they make this character and they make everything so humanized, but you can't make it human. And that's, I mean, a character like Negan keeps the show good. I mean, one of their biggest problems was they killed the governor. The governor should have been an antagonist that that kind of would randomly appear. That's that's how I would have kept the show interesting to have him like pseudo dead, where you don't know if he died or not, and have him just come up. Well, I mean, there's things that Rick does in the books that are you know, they're really fucked up. Like there's some, he grabs uh the the. The carnivals. Did you ever see that? Did you ever see any of the Walking Dead show? Yeah. And the original one, he 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 captures these guys who eat people, and they're like, "Oh, what are we gonna do?" And he and he says, "We're not gonna let him live." And that was it, you know. And the next scene is like he comes back all full of blood and shit, and he he fucking kills them. And that's how Rick was in the book. So I don't know why they would change that. Anywho, what I'm afraid is Stranger Things. Yes, the writing is good, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna last forever. If they but keep six, at it, but six seasons is not a lot. Breaking Bad, six seasons. Uh, Game of Thrones is Breaking Bad was six. Well, yeah, Ga- Game it of takes Thrones in one year. Ga- Game of Thrones is seven seasons. It's eight seasons, but I'm looking at it as seven seasons because it's they cut season six short and they're cutting season eight short. Yeah. Um. So there's that. Well, I mean, well, I I feel six seasons. Of a of a melodrama, is is adequate. Then you're right. I'm just like I said. What's next? I keep thinking, what can they possibly do next? I Could think they do the show on a different family and the same town to see what's happening during the same time? I mean, they could do that. They could. Hmm. They, I mean, I mean, if they're gonna stick with the same characters, well, my opinion is, how many fucking times can they possibly? You know, find monsters and shit, and the kids will just grow numb. That's how I would. I mean, that's what realistically would happen. Every time the monsters come out, they would grow numb to it. They wouldn't be scared of it anymore. They'd be like, "Oh, okay, but, this again." But the thing is, is it doesn't have to revolve around you, you're so you're yeah. so set on on the upside down world. Yeah, you're you're so set on the antagonist being of one creature. The the you know the first one was was 
Yes, yeah, the, I, I, know. I, I, I couldn't. I can't remember the name that they Dual gave it. Dual Bordando or whatever the hell. I don't but, know. But it, you know, it stood on two legs and it, it, it used its claws and things along those lines. I think that this, was the next evolution of those yeah, little dogs. And then from there, it was the dogs, and the weird spiral monster. The, yeah, that the monster was awesome. The the smoke monster in and of itself. Those two, you know, the the monsters were different. There's nothing that says that they have to be of this. Um, there's nothing that says they have to be of this world. They yes, they could just. Be, but your opinion is not that that's one of the things that attracts people to the show. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I think so. I don't believe so. I believe that the characters are what drives it. And yeah, but and if you're going to call it, I understand. But if you're going to call it Stranger Things, it's because of things that are going on strange, like right. weird. Supernatural things Right But it doesn't have to continue To be from the upside down That's where you're stuck And you're stuck in that this What else can they possibly go from? What else? What? Pick any number of science fiction or horror On the same characters? Yeah, why not? Come on, Frank The same shit Oh, this time they were in a haunted house What are they? The fucking Scooby gang? Yeah, I mean (laughs) Come on But it, it comes down to You also have the government Coming after them, which are a very humanistic thing, which and is fine. Okay, the government changes them now. Then they got the people with different powers, but you need to keep it in the sci-fi type of thing. I'm absolutely, mm-hmm. you're you're and you're. That's right. what I'm saying. You're, you're saying I'm, I'm stuck on the monsters, and it's not that. Is that it? It has to have that supernatural thing. But I mean, it it doesn't have to be stuck in the monsters. I mean, we let's look at the '80s real quick. I mean, you have the nightmares of. Freddy Krueger. Okay. You have Jason Voorhees and, and Camp yes. Crystal Lake. Okay. Halloween. They, Halloween. You have Aliens. Uh, and you have Close Encounters of the Third of the Third Kind. You have Predator. Um, you have the Terminator. You have Back to the Future. I mean, the list of the 80s. I mean, hell, look at the T-shirt, for God's sakes, man. The, the 80s was all about... How weird can we be? And I, uh, I still stick to my guns that I loathe the '80s from an aesthetic, from the clothes and the music and everything along those lines. But, um, but Be- before I lose it, another ahead. scene where he's feeding the monster—that's from Gremlins. Yeah, when I'm, he was feeding yeah. Mo, uh, <laughs> Mugwai. Mugwai. No, no, no. Oh man, what? Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo. Um, but that's. You know, there there's so much that they could do. They are clever enough to do. Hell, I it, hope so. It. What about it? <laughs> it was released in the eighties. It was ninety two. Was it or ninety? Well, it doesn't matter. But but it was based in the eighties, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, you have Goonies. Yes, it takes place in the eighties when they're adults. Yes, but you have. Oh, you're talking about the new one. N- no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one. Yes, it takes place in the eighties. But you yeah. have the Goonies. There's there's so much. There, as far as creativity, that yeah. you you don't have you don't have to stick to that. I mean, hell, um, what the um the upside down? They could go and take it where it was an alien spaceship that led us to the upside down, and that's a where they're coming from, dude. <laughs> you are what, what, when it comes to Stranger Things, you're only limited to what your mind is, and the Doofer Brothers are amazing. I understand. And I just I feel like you can't this. How much bad luck can this fucking kids keep going for six seasons? But I don't think it's about the bad luck. I think it's about the characters. I love, I understand it's the characters, but you will it will get stale if the same shenanigans is happening to the same characters. But, That's what I'm saying. But then from there. If you watch this show, you could probably take ev- all the shenanigans of the monsters and put that into one feature length film. You're talking about what? Nine episodes, right? Or eight episodes? Nine. Nine episodes. So that's nine hours. So you take all the alien shit or all the upside down and that is a hour and a half, two hour sci-fi movie. Yes. So that means the other... Seven hours is them interacting on a day in day out basis. That's what makes that show so good. It is. It, it, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you in that fact. I'm just like I said, it's, it's my concern. But I, I don't know. I, I think that you. 
I think your concern is based off the realm of what The Walking Dead is. And The Walking Dead primarily was zombie, 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 zombie. I know, I know. It's just like, like you can pull it off when it's uh, like Daredevil. You can pull that off because this is how superheroes go. They get into that shit. Superheroes end up in that shit. But these characters are so down to earth, like more human like Frank. It's like that's why people like the characters, because they feel like they can they can relate to these characters. Nobody can relate to a superhero. So when a superhero constantly falls under different monsters, different bad guys, nobody can because it's a it's a superhero. But when you relate to these characters and then okay, well next time it's gonna be a spaceship and then the and the next season is going to be crocodiles that talk or whatever the <laughs> fuck. People are going to be like, what the fuck? Move out of the fucking town. But I don't think it, I think that has less to do with the town and more to do with Eleven. I guess and, so. and, and with something like that, that's where the problems stem from. So you'd have to kill the little girl to, to avoid problems. And yeah, she is a problem. They should put her down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. You played Neo? Oh. We're going to go to get, let's go to the games now. <laughs> let's go to the games. My so, wonderful Black Friday. Okay. So you do you originally play Neo or not? I Cuz you were saying oh game of the year but did you ever play it? Yeah, I played I had the beta last year. I there had was a beta? There was a beta and I played it and I played the hell out of it. I played it and played it and played it and then at some point I realized that I'm playing a beta and <laughs> I hadn't beaten because I finally got to the end boss and I was like, holy shit. And then I realized I invested a lot of time in a beta where none of this progress is going to carry over. And it depends on how you describe this to me is if I'm going to buy it right now on Steam. It's it's good. So try it's, to pitch it to me. Sell it to me. Sell it to me in the audience because people are calling this game of the fucking year. You need to sell that shit to me. So do it. Sell it to me in the audience. I mean, <laughs> well, don't well, say, oh, it's $20 on Black Friday. That's not a sale pitch. No, 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 no. Um, Well, it, it's a very, it's hard to do because first and foremost, not everybody's a good gamer. So you can't just, you can't throw anybody into Dark Souls. You can't throw anybody into Bloodborne and say, here, have fun because they're not equipped for the challenge. They're not equipped to not being able to run into a room and lay waste. They're not equipped to being careful. They're not equipped to paying attention to enemy movement because two hits and you're dead and you have to start over from scratch. Like, like, For like what do you mean from scratch? From like the beginning of the game or? From the beginning of wherever you I said mark point. But this is the thing. So you get along the lines of Dark Souls uh, and, and Bloodborne. You level up your character. You get stronger, more health, et cetera, et cetera. So you can take more. Yeah, right. So you can take more damage, but it's it's minimal at best. Like it, it's not giving you. It's not like you go from a hundred HP to five hundred HP. It's like you go from a hundred HP to one hundred fifteen HP. All right, because I mean, I'm I'm up for the challenge. I mean, me, I I don't mind dying a million times. And maybe I'm not as good as a player as you, but it doesn't mean that I would stop. Oh well, but a lot of people <laughs> will. I mean, what? So that's what, what you're what, saying what, that people but, will but rage is, quit. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. So you're going and you acquire souls, right? And then you die. You lose all those souls. And there's a spot where you died and you have to go back and fight everybody again to get to where you died last. And hopefully. So that's a lot like. uh, And so hopefully you don't die because if you die, all those souls that you acquired earlier in the game, gone forever. They don't stay there where you can catch it again. Well, no. If you die twice, what? Yeah. If you can go back in one try and get them back, <laughs> then that's it. <laughs> oh man! So this you is, go, this it, is a very expensive keyboard. I would hate <laughs> to smash it. So, a but controller I mean, you can throw it against the wall. There's, I've played it, and there's nothing cheap about it. Like that's that's the number one thing that I'm good story. With. Story is whatever. Story, story and so gameplay. This, gameplay is phenomenal. Gameplay is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so it plays well. Different different weapons give you different. No, I mean it's all about the type of play, player you are. I am not a big uh, Warhammer 
wielding, you know, broadsword kind of character. I like, I like my medium range blade. I like um, me. I like the warhammer. Or, yeah, or like heavy. Yeah, if you're a heavy gear, then you then you go heavy. But I'm not heavy. I'm a, I'm a medium to light. But when you hold the heavy, does it slow you oh, down? Yeah. It, the, the, well, there has to be an advantage with other than just oh, dude, you, you massacre people. You massacre people. You need to be able to dodge good. Yeah, though. you gotta be. You gotta be, and you have to time it right. Really. And, and then from there, um, you have a stamina bar, and the enemy. The <laughs> but the thing is, I want to play it now. The enemy has a stamina bar too. So if the enemy's stamina bar goes all the way down, they're you know they're out of breath. So you get your free licks in. You can block, but blocking costs stamina. And so, with someone like a Warhammer, if you go bat shit on them and just beat them down while they're blocking, they lose all their stamina. And if you have enough stamina, you'll be able to get that like last swing kill. What about okay when you make it to a boss? Hence, the boss kills you. You have to start from the beginning. You have to start from the beginning and work your way all <laughs> the way back to the Holy boss. Holy shit! No, this is this is the okay, thing because, though. Now, now here you what's go. What's the other one? Yeah, uh, um, Bloodborne or Dead or Dark Souls. Dark Souls is very unforgiving. Yeah, the, well, this game's it, it's unforgiving where you just can't be nonchalant. Be like, hey, I got this basic character because one wrong move and that basic character will dice you up, dice yeah. you up. Like you have zero chance. Okay. So I, I love the game. I. I mean, I was up Have last you, night till you 3 You got it? George got it? I think and I right. think Dylan got it, too. All three of us got it. It's, it's amazing. Did you Best Buy? Uh, How much was it in Best Buy? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. It's, I mean, it's so good. It's, I'm, I'm, to be quite honest, I'm a little mad that I didn't buy it retail. I, I'm. What do you mean? I would have been, I'm mad that I didn't buy it retail because I, I should have, I mean, <laughs> I'm mad that I didn't buy it retail because it should have been a game I got at the beginning of the year. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. I should have spent the full 60. It was $60? Yeah, it was. It's it's 50 on PC. It's brand new. <laughs> like, like, damn, $50. And then with the discount, I think it comes up to like 40. It's, it's a wonderful game. I love it. It's, it's really hard. There are multiple weapons, and then the weapons have what's called familiarity. So you have to kill X amount of uh, characters with this with said weapon, and once you max out that, the weapon is stronger than most weapons. And then you you go okay. and it is an easy system though, right? Like oh yeah, it's an easy system because I I did I remember I did play Dark Souls, but Dark Souls was like what the fuck is the the menu was all weird to me. Yeah. All right, sold. Oh, <laughs> it's it's really good, and the the aspect of being in Japan makes it even that much better. Um, it takes Dark Souls, it takes Bloodborne, and puts the two together, which is awesome. Because Bloodborne is a lot faster paced, has the dodge mechanic. Okay. Um, Dark Souls, if memory serves me right, it only has a blocking mechanic. It doesn't have yes. a real dodge mechanic. I think it had two. I think two had dodge, but I didn't play it. So. And then there's multiple stances, which is really cool in the game as well. Each each weapon has three different stances: a high, a medium, and a low. And you have different counters, and you can go and transition from one to the other. It's really good. It's got a really deep system. It look, you know why it interests me? Because it looks so much like like Amanushua. Amanishua? Amanushua? Shit, am I pronouncing that right? You know what I'm talking about? Animusha? I was close. Animusha. I love Animusha. Yeah. The, I, the, and I it was the same way, too. I mean, I don't think it was as bad as one hit you get killed, but you need to be able to dodge and shit. And not get, you remember that game? Yeah. I fucking love that game and it that reminds me a lot of the game. It's I love it. I love um I got to bed at three o'clock in the morning last night. So <laughs> just playing the <laughs> shit out of it. It was it 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 really was and it, it was the highlight of my Black Friday. It really was. When I got it, I was I was like, All right, let's get out of the store. I'm ready to go, ready to go. Meanwhile, my girlfriend's trying to buy a buy a TV. I'm like, I'm ready to go. We don't have to. We don't need the TV anymore. Oh my God! But talk you know. about buying a TV. So you bought a second TV? 
bought a third TV. A third TV. For but, but yet you can't put your PlayStation close to the fucking Ethernet. What do you mean? We don't have a TV in our living room. So you've got three TVs and none in your living room? And yeah. Do you know how weird that sounds? Where yeah. is the third one? In the bathroom? No. The third one's in the uh, guest room. It's small, that's why. Okay, one in the guest room, one in your room. One in the man cave. One in the man cave. Yeah. And you can't put one in your fucking living room? Oh, we got a bigger one for the living room. <laughs> Which one? Did you, you did get a bigger one. Yeah. So that's where you want to put the PlayStation. Yeah. So then problem solved. You'll be able to download your shit. It won't be three, four, five hours. Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. You want to know how big? <laughs> how big? 70. 70 inches? 4K? How much? 4K. A grand. That's not bad. LG. LG. Life is good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Smart? What does it matter? It's going to have a PlayStation hooked up to it. Smart TVs are stupid. I hate them. Not if it has Google on it. That's what I was going to say. If it has Google, that's awesome. You could just... Oh, but you don't have Google. You have an iPhone. Either way, like you, could, there's some that come with Alex Alexa now. Bro, it's just so much fun to just... I don't have one, but I would, let's just say Google put on fucking you know, Stranger Things, and he puts it. And yeah. She puts it. Boom. Oh, I think that's cool. Yeah. It's one of the few things I like about the Connect, which no longer exists. But that was <laughs> one of the few things that I did like. Now, Xbox... No. Turn on <laughs> 20 minutes later doo, 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 doo. Why did he say Xbox Why didn't they never use uh, um, What the fuck is the name of uh, the character The voice for Microsoft Siri No it's not Siri Siri's <laughs> Apple Well then You know who it is Oh uh, you hate Halo Oh hate Cortana Halo. Cortana That's right Anywho uh, uh, Neo is good Yeah I'm gonna get it uh, I just finished Assassin's Creed and I finished Star Wars Battlefront. Assassin's Creed. <sighs> I, it was I, a, it was a, I mean, disappointment in the end. When you invest so many hours in the sh- and, and trust me, I'm, I'm not even, I probably at, at 60% in that game. I've already found all the regions and stuff like that, but there is so much. If you've played Witcher, then you know what I'm talking about. Because one thing I noticed about Assassin's Creed is that they put a lot of things from a lot of open world games. So they took these two years to make this game by stealing ideas from the best open world games. Question marks meant like there's little things to look out. Yeah. That's from The Witcher. The able to climb anything. That's from Legend of Zelda. Um the, the the night and day thing to change the night and day whenever you want that's also from uh, Legend of Zelda there was other things that I was just like wait a minute the more I play this the more I see that none of it is Ubisoft like this is all stuff that's been taken from all great games even even they stole a little bit from 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 Metal Gear oh my god I was uh, what the hell was it that I would say this is totally something from Metal Gear and I can't remember what it was. It'll come to me later, but like, does he get a box? Oh, 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 the the blood, filling up with blood and stuff. The more you kill, the oh. characters covered in blood, Psst, Metal Gear. So, it's still a great game, but but the more that I play, the less originality I see in there. You mean like Zelda? Well, no, don't don't go with Zelda. Zelda's the beginning of of stop. You don't even go there. I just Zelda is. Perfect in every way. Yeah, considering it, it took everything from every game. What what exactly did they steal? They still a Legend of Zelda game. They there weren't missions to find around and stuff like that. You you had to go and actually talk to people. It's not like there's question marks to show you and stuff like Assassin's Creed or Witcher. But yes, there's a couple of things that that that, that they stole. But of course, it was for the better good, in my opinion. But Assassin's Creed was like they stole a lot. Either way, the ending to me was, uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like, oh, okay, that's why the the assassins exist. It was like no connection. I mean, the word assassin comes from, a, from a, I don't remember. I think it's a Muslim word or something like that. I don't remember what it was. Assassin or something, but it's yeah. not connected to the Egyptians. No. 
So I was like, hmm. And I mean, I don't know my history too well either, so I don't know why there were. So well, no, many. but that's the reason why the that's the reason why the first one was took place where it did in Jerusalem and exactly. Damascus. I mean, yes, but you, you went through Israel and Syria. But they were already calling themselves assassins. But that's in what the origin. They, but that's what they. Oh, you understand what I mean now, right? Yeah. That word is a word that comes from yeah from the Middle East. The Middle East. Yeah. Thank you. Um. They do explain what happens to Cleopatra and who was the assassin who killed. Her. I'm not gonna say it. I think I told you, but I, I mean, I, you might have said it in the podcast. But no, but I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. They say how it happens and why it happens, and but other than that, I thought the story was really good. I said the ending was disappointing. Now to Star Wars Battlefront. I did not play multiplayer. I refuse to play multiplayer, <laughs> <laughs> which will lead to what we're talking later. But um. God, you know, a lot of people are talking shit about the fucking story. I went in there with an open mind because everybody was talking shit. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, it could have been better, but I could see it being in a movie. I could see it. All right there, Batman versus Superman. No, 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 no. no. Hold, hold on. What I mean is, okay, they had Star Wars episode seven, right? Which one? The seven was the last one that came out. Seven. Wait. Yes, the last one that came out was seven. Yeah. Then they did Rogue One. Right. I could see after episode eight, right? The next one? Yeah. The next December, I would have liked to seen this game story as a movie. Yeah. It would have been good. Especially because it's connected to Star Wars episode seven and eight, which I'm not allowed to say anything. Because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. And Frank has forbidden me to say anything till December 15th. And you're going to see the movie on the cruise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to keep quiet, but I, it is connected. And, and I have theories of what it is, which I am. I, I had to sign a waiver and stuff for Frank that I was not allowed to say it in the, in the, <laughs> in the podcast till December 15th. <laughs> After the movie. And then I'll talk about it in go. the podcast. Uh, but yeah, the story was good. I mean, it was fun. Uh, Aiden was an interesting character. It was unrealistic how she... Oh, God. Well, whatever. Spoiler alert. <laughs> how she does the switch so, so fast from from the Empire to the, to, uh, the Rebels like that. Come on. You don't kill hundreds of rebels, thousands of rebels, and then, you know what I mean? Let's let's just see it realistically, okay? You have somebody in the Middle East who's killed over 500 U.S. soldiers. U.S. soldiers. <laughs> Do you possibly think that this man's going to show in the U.S. government soil and say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> Can I join the army? Do you realistically think, yes, sir, you are part of us now, and they're just gonna trust you like nothing. Like, come on, everybody be watching them. But in the in the in the you know in the game, it's just like we trust you now. <laughs> <laughs> this woman has killed hundreds of rebels, and you're like, yep, here you go. Here's the next wing. Just hop in and let's go. <laughs> just like that. That to me was a little. Mm. But other than that, I thought it was interesting. Uh I give it a a B minus. Story mode. Multiplayer, I haven't even touched it. I actually uninstalled the game. <laughs> I was done with it. I was like, mm, that's it. I don't need to play the other shit. I don't need, I don't like how the Jedi's play anyway. <laughs> so, okay. Injustice. Oh, okay, we played Injustice. I was, you start off. What are your opinions? Injustice is awesome. It's, it's Nether Realms. It's the people who made Mortal Kombat. They make a good game, they make a good fighting game. And I told you last podcast, too, I said I would never buy a fighting game anymore from PC. Good choice. Straight up. The first thing you notice before anything, there's so much detail. Yeah. The backgrounds are, in, like, they move, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. and Absolutely. Lighting changes, characters change. It's... It's noise. I, I, I'm, there's so much to do, too, like... First of all, the game is a lot more enjoyable when you're playing with someone other than playing with a, PC, with a CPU. Um, I think it's 
way more fun when you play with someone and I I love that the controls are smooth, the animations are great, the characters look amazing. They they the lifelike version of these characters are so much better than the life by versions of Marvel versus Capcom um, Infinity Stones. So, well, I have something to bring up about that, but we'll Go continue. Ahead. No, we'll continue with the injustice because I was thinking about this on the drive over. What about Marvel? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I the they made them really lifelike. The characters, even even the Joker. The Joker is great. You no, know, I'm saying they, they made him look yeah. more real. He he doesn't look like he doesn't have that big grin. Yeah, he looks. They all tone. They all look human. Like when I mean human, is like life like. Yeah, and and they do justice for it. They do. It looks good. Unlike when you did it for the other game, <laughs> it just end up looking terrible. Well, I mean, I go back to it. Um, this game could have. They messed up both Capcom and Nether Realms. This should have been a uh, a Marvel game, and DC should be with uh, Street Fighter. Well, when you when you break it down, and I'm not saying what because uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity's Infinite is a shitty game, therefore DC. That's that's not my argument, and, and please don't take that from this aspect. I'm talking on it strictly from the way Street Fighter plays, where. They fight where they have a lot of projectiles. They have a lot of magic, things along those lines. There's not a lot of hand-to-hand combat um, in Street Fighter where it's more about your special abilities, which DC lends itself better. You know, you have Batman, you have Superman, lasers and ice breath and batarangs and, you know, Green Lantern can do all kinds of stuff. They, They just lend themselves better where Marvel... You know, you have Rogue and you have Wolverine, you have Punisher, you have Daredevil, How is uh, there... Luke Cage. I mean, all these characters would be better suited in Injustice over Marvel vs. Capcom. How have they not added Daredevil into the Marvel vs. Capcom game? And know. not a single one. I don't know. But it, it would, to me, they would play better. It, they it, would it, play better, of it, course. If you switch them up. It Graphic-wise, I think it would, I mean, the way the game looks... Oh my I God. thought about Marvel characters like that. They would look amazing. Yeah. And now the Ninja Turtles are coming out. And I'm so happy to have this game now when... All the DLC is coming out. Exactly. And I mean, the with just the idea like to have Wolverine do a fatality or Deadpool do a fatality or Punisher do a fatality, Magneto do a fatality. I mean, there'd be some sick, sick things that they would have been able to do. But uh, DC doesn't want to kill people. So there's that. And I mean the things they do, like the special moves, are like automatic. You're dead. Yeah, you saw Wonder <laughs> Woman. She throws a sword into your chest, and then she dives down into your sword and just Puts right it, through yeah. you. Yep. I mean, but that, that was good enough for a, for a, for a fatality right there. Yeah. And then it ends right there. Oh man. But it's it's beautiful. It and, is, and it, it plays really well. The way the the one thing that I noticed when you and I were playing is. When you do something in the game, when you the, the, when you do a certain move or something, we were we were like, oh my god, you know, the excitement to see the character do something, even silly like yeah. like Harley Quinn when she throws the dynamite, she <laughs> turns your she turns her back on you and then she just throws it without looking, and she's smiling and she's smiling, you know, just psychosis. And that's actually really cool, and uh, yeah, I. I Every character, I mean, there's some characters that were terrible, but I mean, that's every fighting game. Yeah, there's always no. a character that sucks. Some of them don't play as well as I thought. Robin, Robin's really slow. You didn't play as Robin, but Robin's no. really slow for a character that you would think would be quicker, but lighter yeah. attacks. Um, who else sucked? Uh, I didn't like, a, oh my God, that Red Lantern one with the flying fucking cat. What the, f- what the fuck is that? If that's really in the comic, I, listen, guys. I don't read the comic books of Green Lantern, but that's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. I'd rather play Howard the Duck <laughs> than that stupid shit. A fucking flying cat. Then I did it right. I did yeah. a special move. The flying cat came out. What the fuck did he do? Nothing. No, yeah, but it was he threw kitty litter at my character. <laughs> it was so stupid. I don't know. Bane was good. Bane is surprisingly fast. I liked Bane. Yeah. Um, I like the Black Canary. 
Black Canary was awesome. And I liked uh, I liked Catwoman. Supergirl has some 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 Scorpio Scorpion type of moves there. She um, played good. Joker's awesome. Joker was awesome. Batman, you didn't like? You know. I, I didn't. Batman was a little weird. But I think I mean. But we just I mean we were we just started. Off. Yeah, we're we're wet behind the ears. I took out my arcade stick and I mean it um, was it was fun, um, but switching to Marvel vs. Capcom and I was thinking about it today. Why didn't they just, rather than trying to be realistic, why didn't they stick with like cell shading? I don't know. But I don't why, know what they were thinking. Why did they fire that guy? I I don't know. But you told me they. Oh fired yeah, him. yeah. I I would have went with a cell shaded. Of course. Like um like like Borderlands. Man, it didn't even have to be three D. They could have just stayed in the two D style, like the original Marvel vs. Capcom, and people would have loved it. Yeah. Well, I mean they. This goes just, th- this goes to this idea of where where you know when we have these debates and whatnot where we need to change we need to be innovative and we don't this this is what I think that happened Frank there was no Marvel versus Capcom for a while and yep. then uh, and then Injustice came out and Injustice was a big big game part one so the, the Capcom sees this and then they go like okay let's do it that way because that's what they did. But that's it's just they're copying that style and it didn't work for them. It didn't work. But the thing is, is it and this goes kind of to the loot crate or, uh, um, argument and everything along those lines. People see what other people are doing to make money. And because exactly, but it, it goes to this idea that money rules everything. And I don't it, granted these are businesses. These are what people are trying to do to make money. They're trying to, to make a living. Um, but in this if you're making something that's bad, mm-hmm. it's you're not making money. It, when we look at Need for Speed, when we look at uh, Battlefront, they're not making money. They're, not. Uh, they're selling copies, but they're not making money. When you mm. look at Their what, stocks went down. What, mm-hmm. When you look at DC, they're not making money. And this is kind of where uh, I'm going to go with this because I want I want to do this justice. Um, for those of you who follow us on Twitter. You might have saw my post. It was either last night or the night before, where one Yoshaki Matsuro, the CEO of Square Enix, he came out and I, I once again I applaud this man. CEO of Square Enix talks about how they parted ways with IO Interactive. Um, okay. they, they were a studio that they that Square Enix acquired. They are in charge of the Hitman series. So they let that company go. They, they go, did? They let that company go. And when they let them go, they allowed them to take the Hitman franchise with them. And when they asked him, why did you let them do that? He said this. He said, this game, Hitman, did well. But we don't want to invest in it anymore. It, it, it cost us too much money to make and we didn't get back on our return. So for an independent company, they're going to do well kind of thing. If we kept the title and tried to make the game, it wouldn't be a Hitman game. That's their game. That's a- that's their game. So they take it with them. And I wish them the best of luck. I, I, I was would that would have that happened in an American company? I, I don't know. No, it would not. Well, I'm, but look at look at Xbox Konami. would have never look, let- look, look at Konami. Look at Konami and Metal Gear. Like a Konami and Metal exactly. Gear. I, I understand there are some Japanese yeah, yeah, companies yeah. that are like that, but there's a better chance in other countries. I mean, for God's sake, uh, the the CEO of Nintendo gave away his salary so they didn't have to lay off anybody. Yeah. What does that tell you? Anyway, going back to that, uh, that's unbelievable because you know when Bungie left, they kept Halo. Yeah. Microsoft, and for all we know, Bungie could have done something way better with Halo. Yeah. Out of their hands. Uh, what, what other? I'm thinking of another company that does that. Ah, uh, <laughs> EA with Visceral. Well, there you go. And um, oh man, I was gonna say something I forgot. When you say EA, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's the right thing, but I don't think they would do it for for Tomb Raider. Hell no, they would never do it. No, but if I mean, Eidos, e- Eidos, it, no, well, it's it's IO Interactive. But it was EDOS. Wait a minute. So 
EDOS, EDOS because, left. Well, no, they changed their, their company name to IO. IO left. Yeah. They gave him Hitman, but they kept Tomb Raider. Yeah. I figured that that's, I no, knew But it. I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, you can take Hitman, but you're not taking Tomb Raider. And, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I guess you're be, right. Be, but because IO, they did that episodic Hitman, which I keep hearing is really it's good. It's really good. I heard it's I, really good. I, I, played, I played a little bit of episode one, but I didn't play anything else. But I, I liked it. It wasn't bad. And it gives you the freedom to do whatever you want to do as far as the kills go, which is really cool. Um, and it's episodic. It, it's it's more about him just being a legit hitman. And it's like, here you go. This but, is the person you got to kill. Uh, here you go. And you have to figure out a way to do it. And that's There's it. There's over 100 ways to do it. Oh, too. yeah. It's sick. It was really cool, but I, I, I didn't get it. Um, I might get it later. What I, the fuck? But man? season two, they they're working on season two, and and just it. Th- I O left. What's gonna happen in the Tomb Raider series? Is gonna be made by the Japanese? Yeah. I don't know. But it's it is what it is, man. Not uh, without but, them. They're the ones who made the fucking the reboot good. Hmm? I saw the trailer for the new Tomb Raider movie. <laughs> I'm surprised that he I thank God I didn't have a knife in my hand I would have gouged my eyes out God I'd rather take blindness Wow well, I wanted to smash my glasses <laughs> on the floor The actual trailer Not the not the teaser Oh yeah Oh my God It's so terrible Is it literally the video game all over again? No it's not And that her giraffe neck bothers me too <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah Oh my god, I hate that movie. So yeah, so we um <laughs> sorry. It's all good. No, it's uh I commend them on that and I wish more people yeah, would of but, but it's not for them it's not about the corporate greed and as we see No they over the, the past right couple of weeks it, it the corporate greed is, is catching up to them. And we're looking at UEA. <laughs> I just love how they go like, oh, it wasn't our intentions. We're going to fix it now. Mm. You know, I think it's too late. Did, did you hear how they fired the guy from Plants vs. Zombies too because he they wanted microtransactions and he goes, that's not what is going to be in the game and they fired him because of it? But it's his game. Mm, right, but they wanted the... <laughs> they, they, went, they went and they did your model of we're going to fire... Like, if we say this, then this is what it's going to be and then they fired them. And... Hey, you're right. They can do that, but what's going to happen? And this is it. The you've you've you have proven to me why it's a bad business. We've been arguing now what two months about this, and you're like, "It's making money, Frank. It's making money, Frank." Ah, I really, <laughs> I no, you're right. I'm glad that it's being stopped and stuff like that. I really do hope that it changes, but I don't. Will it change? I don't think so. Microtransactions are here to stay. And I'm cool with that. I'm fine with microtransactions. I don't mind paying to get something new in my game. The loot crate pay to win model sucks. Yeah. And it, hopefully it's going away. Speaking of it, Injustice has a loot Injustice crate system. Has loot crate but too. it's it, I, it it's I, rewarded. I like how it is because it's a fighting game, so you're essentially playing to get a one percent advantage on mm. strength. So if you take what nine hundred and add 1% to 900, what are you getting, like 30 points? I don't know. Uh, I'm not a math I, guy. Then but Quake also has it. The new Quake has fucking loot boxes. What the hell, man? It is what it... But, I mean, I don't I don't care. I think it's... I For me, personally, I think it's just mere aesthetics, and it's going to give me a reason to continue to play, but it's not going to give me a reason to drop money into the, set, in, into the thing. And plus, I don't play... I'm not going to fight anybody online. I'm just going to continue to play the computer. Yeah. So... I'm, 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 fuck the uh, online feature, bro. If you're gonna, if they're gonna do that shit. I'm not gonna play it online. Look, look. I had no fucking problem. I uninstalled. Bar. So I hope you're listening, EA. No problem at all. I uninstalled your fucking game like that. I played your story mode and I said, "Go fuck yourself." That's it. <laughs> I didn't put a single nickel because you, you, you is the way you did it is wrong. It's wrong. I mean, if you need to call. Blizzard and maybe they can give you little tips of how to do it. So, you know, they can give you tips because they do it and nobody says anything about Blizzard. Nobody has argued. Nobody has said anything about them. Nobody has said anything about uh uh what uh, that game you have that you want us to play um 
Titanfall? Tom Clancy's go oh. um the division? The division. Nobody said anything about that. You know, you they have microtransactions in there and the the fact that EA a hundred dollars, really? I mean Did you read how, how dare them? Did you read how much like you had to invest? It was it was some like two thousand I, I, it know, was the, obscene. Man, whatever happened to just good old fashioned multiplayer? You play, you shoot, you kill, and then uh, that's it. You know, called PUBG, and then you play, and then you get a fucking hat. Yeah, PUBG does it. You get a hat, you get a, uh, you get a jacket. Is the jacket gonna do anything for you? No, you're probably gonna get one between your eyes in the first five seconds. <laughs> Stand by for Titanfall. <laughs> I, I, dude, Titanfall. Oh, Titanfall. They they do have like a loot crate thing where you get random. Uh, skins and whatnot. They just set it up now because the game's been out. I'm coming. I think two years, maybe. Okay. Um, where they're they're just like, well, if you want to unlock anything, now you can unlock anything. You don't need the loot crate because you get credits, like you get in-game currency. Oh yeah. But um, now and before it said, you know, the only way to unlock said item was to be randomly gifted it. And but the game's so old, it's like you know what? Is it really that old? It's it's coming up on two years, yeah. Really? I think so. I think so. No. I could be wrong. What did I, I think it's a year this this fall. Really? It came out last fall. Mm, I'm googling. Nah, yeah, it did come out last fall. It's not that old. It only feels old because it lost popularity in the first two days. But that was their fault. Yeah, they yeah, released yeah. It at yeah, the same October time. As, tw- yeah, 2016, and it uh, feels older. They. They released it at the same time as one big game. No, they before Battlefield One. No, it came out in between Battlefield One and um, no, there was and a Call of Duty. It oh, was in between go. it. It's Call of Duty because nobody liked this Call of Duty, but everybody liked the one before. Eh, it is what it is. Activision. So, anything else? No, it was guys. There's no new games. Yeah, we don't. 2018. So. <laughs> But, okay, so first of all, let's start off with that. Next week, I'm, we're not doing the podcast because I'm going to be out of town. Jose hates me. Come on, it's just one week. And uh, when we get back, I really want to talk about the Game of the Year episode. I don't know when we should do it. I think we should do it next episode, the Game of the Year, unless there's some big news to talk about because nothing else is coming out. So I think it's, I think it, it's accurate, right? And the year is over. You have one week. To put down your list of what you think. And I think we should bring guests. Spoiler alert. <laughs> there will be no Nintendo games on my game of the year list. <laughs> they're not bad, Frank. You may not have Nintendo games, but they're not bad games. Yeah. No, it's I not know. like what you were saying about DC fans and stuff. And, you know, they say, but but Legend of Zelda has good reviews from reviewers and from Nintendo oh, fans. Know. You know, so it's not... It's that, not your it's not your cup of tea. That's going to be everybody's game of the year, and that's not mine. I, it's Mario. but I've, I, I've, let me tell you, Mario is is. I know you don't like. I don't know you don't like kids' games, but but the the way Mario makes you. How do I? Okay, my daughter's six years old. Okay, and the way this game is designed it makes you want to explore frank it makes you want to explore which to me is is you without a strategy remember back then we had, you had to get a strategy guy to look online and stuff like that which you still got to do it with mario but my 6 year old sees some pigeons that are in a circle in an area and she goes and investigates and she's found more moons and past way surpassed what i where i am in mario so it's an E for everyone, and it could have a possible chance of being game of the year. Maybe it won't. I mean, do they break it down for? They do have one game of the year, right? That is for everything, like no matter what. Yeah, what, that's gonna what. be Zelda. That's going to I be Zelda. I don't think it's gonna be Zelda. I don't think so. I do. I think Zelda's gonna take. I don't think so. Nobody's talking about Zelda anymore. Zelda's done. No, but it's usually game of the year is something that keeps talking all the way to the end of the year. No, Zelda still, Zelda still has this, that. It's lost sales completely. It's woof, disappeared. And Switch is still selling. No, yeah, I mean, it's... I don't think so. I I really don't think it's going to be... I'm, and I'm not, I'm not going to give either of those games Game of the Year. 
I have a list. I have to. He's look. checking it twice. I'm checking it twice. But we'll talk about that. I think we should bring Alex, Dylan. Hey, whoever wants to come. We'll get a bunch of people. You have two weeks. Two weeks. I think George should be in it too because I would love to hear his list of how. <sighs> you know what his game is going to be. <laughs> That's kind of why I really want him to be on it. So he could be the only one in the world with that fucking game on the number one list. You want me to put your, my fist through your monitor, don't you? He is going to say that game. Oh. Yo, you want him because you're talking to him? George, you're invited. Please. <laughs> Next two weeks. We have two weeks to plan this. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. If it's been fun, uh, once again, email us at evilmetalgamers at gmail.com. Check us out on the podcast. Check I'm to podcast. Check us out on Twitter. We are the podcast. <laughs> Check, <laughs> Check us out on Twitter, Evil Metal Gamers. And uh, also, uh, we're on iTunes. We are in Google Play. We're on Stitcher. So please, please, please subscribe, rate, and review. That would help us out a lot. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.